Kyle Alexander Zakwija, CAA Life Member. Pat Conroy once wrote, I want you to understand why I hate this school with all my power and passion. <laughs> then I want you to forgive me for loving the school with all my heart. This quote describes how many cadets feel about the school while they are here and how they definitely feel once they're gone. The Citadel holds us to a higher standard, a standard that can be exhausting, but we're glad for it, and in the end, we're better because of it. These higher standards lead to the development of unique traditions. Nowhere in the country would a full-out brawl ensue after slapping a hunk of concrete with a letter painted on it. <laughs> Nowhere else would a student have to be confined in a dorm room for just 40 short hours for going to Chick-fil-A on a Monday. <laughs> and I don't know what other college would have me, a cadet with no rank, no medals, give a speech at commencement. <laughs> <laughs> These unique traditions often turn into great stories, and they almost always lead to consequences. <laughs> Though I often questioned the purpose and legitimacy behind my time on the quad, <laughs> it did teach me something. It taught me lessons I'd rather learn in the shelter of our beloved institution than in the real world where they'd be much, much more costly. These consequences began knob year. The whole point of this year is to blend in and stay under the radar. But I was like that little red dot. Boop, <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> I stuck out. And most of the time, not in a good way. In fact, I was so bad at drill, my cadre removed me from the pack and put me in my own squad. <laughs> a squad of one. Seriously. In truth, the separation from my classmates and all the extra attention I was getting made me think about quitting. Then one afternoon, my classmates came to help me. They taught me how to polish my shoes, shine my brass, and make my webbing. They really did save me. I can say with great certainty that I would not be here today without the rest of ECHO 2018. <laughs> I'd like to think that getting me through Nob Year was a good idea. But I'll tell you about a bad idea go into a movie as a knob in civvies. <laughs> Worse idea, spying my senior mentor, and instead of playing it cool and laying low, letting my classmates convince me to stand up and wave high. <laughs> they deny it to this day, but that's actually what happened. Uh, <laughs> the two and a half week consequence of walking tours was definitely not worth it, but in the end, maybe the memories were. Knob year was hard. BVA was even harder. The new standards of PT, personal appearance, and mental games were tough. If you asked my classmates, I would have been the last person they would have expected to rise to the challenge in BVA our junior year. We live in a generation where everyone expects a participation trophy. Up to that point in my life, I thought if you worked hard, 
and were dedicated, you'd get what you wanted. I tried as hard as I could, but in the end, I didn't make the cut. The experience taught me how to fail with grace, and I value that. I didn't think there was anything that was harder than Nabir. Now I know there is. And through the Nabir and BVA process, I became mentally tougher. I can hold myself to higher standards. And even when I fail, I'm glad for the experience because it made me better. It made us all better. None of us could have gotten through this school alone. I want to thank my parents. Thank you, Dad, for the last name. Last but not least, it's finally, finally paid off. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my mother for driving thousands of miles on her many trips from Richmond to see me. But mostly for never posting anything on the Citadel Moms Facebook page. <laughs> like Conroy and so many in the audience today. I have hated this school with all my power and passion, but I love it with all my heart. Long live the guards, long live Echo Company, and God bless the class of 2018. Thank you, rest.